Since the beginning of time, comic book artists have drawn rifles ridiculously big. Like, crazy big. I mean, look at that one. In a world of futuristic comic book rifles, one man is dumb enough to make one in real life. One man who is slightly overweight, but makes up for it with his rugged handsomeness. One guy, a geeky gun guy. What is going on guys? Today I wanted to switch builds from my Deadshot build to another comic book based build. Like the guy in the voiceover said, who's probably handsome, this is a ridiculously, unnecessarily huge gun. So I grew up reading comic books and they'd always have the biggest futuristic looking rifles. And I've always wanted to own one of those. So I made one myself. By the way, I'm uh, messing with the lights a little bit. So let me know down in the comments if you like this better, worse. But let's check out the rifle, shall we? <laughs> this is the Tavor SAR. My wife or girlfriend at the time got this for me at around 2014, 2015, a few years back. But what makes this super unique is this is a bullpup, which means the action is actually back here, allowing it to be more of a compact size. Again, I just added huge, heavy, ridiculous stuff just to make it look more futuristic or comic booky, comic booky. But before we start messing with this, safety check. Eject the mag. No rounds in the mag. Hold the bolt open. No round in the chamber. So starting from the top, I got the Seymour Systems Aluminum Body Railway. It's usually used for like pistol competition shooting. And at the time I never really saw anyone throw this on a rifle before, but I really like how it, it looks on top of there. And it's a two MOA dot. Next we got the Fab Defense Flip Up Sights. Again, they were just futuristic looking, robust, kind of unnecessarily wide at the base, but I absolutely love them. And those are sitting on top of Midwest Industries Tavor Gator Extended Rail. So the original rail sat real low, kind of like the same profile as the stock back here. And it gives it a little bit of a rise, giving it more of a AR-15 kind of cheek well. And in the front we have Manticore Arms Arclight XTL, which is kind of like the handguard, if you will, up front. Originally I wanted to go with their Arclight Pathfinder, which is like way longer, but at the time they didn't have it in stock and I kind of couldn't wait to put this together. And this big guy attached to it is Spikes Tactical Havoc 37 millimeter launcher. Again, going more for looks than function, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a shit ton of fun to shoot. But not only that, but because of my big ass hands, the grooves here and this little ledge, which is the, the, the pivot, for loading and unloading acts as the perfect like angled foregrip it just fits my hand perfectly in there these three fingers and my thumb on top 
super comfortably. And underneath the muzzle is primary arms weapon light, which is activated by another Manticore Arms product, their big button. I don't have lights in my battery right now. I don't have batteries in my light right now. And for the trigger, I went with Geisley's Super Sabra Lightning Bow Trigger. Try saying that five times fast. I also got the Luma Safety, Ambidextrous Safety. And the last Manticore Arms product is the Switchback. So the charging handle on the Tavor is in the front to the side. And the, the stock one kind of sticks out, sort of like this. What's cool about Manticore Arms switchback charging handle is that once you charge it back and it charges forward, it folds itself in. And last but not least, Fab Defense's Quick Deployment Bipod. So satisfying and there she is again I wanted everything to be like as big and robust and heavy as possible just to give it that futuristic comic book feel to it but yeah she shoots so flat surprisingly but that's about it guys go ahead and uh, gingerly tap that like button if you're into comic books if you like the build go ahead and leave a comment and of course, the would you rather. Would you rather never listen to music again or never be able to use the internet? I'm gonna go ahead and throw podcasts on there too. No music or podcasts or no internet. Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. But don't forget, don't be a dick, be a blessing.